I'm Naima, here with Ms. Saira Gulreev. Welcome to the show, ma'am. Uh, what do you teach at Hajveri University? I take some courses of fashion designing and some of textile designing. Uh, as we, as uh, we all know, that uh, HE offers a lot of fashion, a lot, a lot of courses for fashion and textile designing. I, I teach uh, draping, fashion illustration, uh, fashion forecasting, and uh, textile design to the masters and bachelor's level. Why do you think uh, that this is an important subject to learn for the students of fashion design? Well, all the subjects that we have in fashion designing and textile as well, they are equally important for the students. Uh, actually, they need to have the, first of all, they need to, in order to uh, get to the final level, they need to have the uh, basic, they need to have the knowledge of basics first and then um, go to the next level. Uh, we have uh, draping, um, uh, basically fashion designing is the art of uh, uh, application of um, uh, aesthetics and design uh, to a particular garment, to a particular design or um, accessories. Uh, draping is very important in this field uh, as it provides the student to uh, get the knowledge about the darts and seams uh, so that they know uh, um, about the garment construction and uh, the fit and the shape of the garment. Uh, fashion illustration is again uh, the, base, uh, the base of uh, fashion designing um, as uh, it provides the students um, to uh, think further. The, the student first, uh, first designs the uh, particular sketch on a piece of paper in order to uh, make the final uh, design. So all these subjects are very important uh, for, that, for fashion designing because the fashion designer first has to get a visual picture of uh, whatever he's going, he or she is going to create uh, and what kind of uh, uh, the look the model is going to give when uh, her garment is going to show on the ramp uh, or any particular fashion shoot. For those students who aspire to become a fashion designer, can you please tell them how they can pursue their goals? Yeah, fashion designing this field is very creative and um, once the students get graduated, they have a lot of options. They have the whole world um, in front of them. Uh, they can either uh, work with, a, they can choose any particular designer, like any, any renowned designer from Pakistan or overseas. Uh, or um, they can work as a freelance designer. Freelance designer is basically a designer who makes uh, the garments, the collection um, himself and uh, sells it to either market or any retail outlet or to any buying house. Uh, or they can work on, on their own. Um, they can start up any, their own label. They can um, make a whole collection, exhibit it according to whatever their um, requirement is and whatever is going on around the market and the fashion scene. Um, so they have a lot of other options as well, like they can teach, they can teach courses of fashion and textile designing and um, a lot of other things they can do, they can, um, uh, they can teach abroad, they can apply for further courses. So there are a lot of options, uh, but that depends upon their determination and talent and skills. What is the difference between uh, bridal, uh, casual and uh, formal fashion designers as increasingly many uh, Fashion designers are specializing in different segments. There's a major difference between casual, uh, formal, semi-formal and bridal wear. Uh, as the name says it all, uh, casual is basically something that you wear on a daily basis, uh, like uh, maybe a pair of jeans or a kurti or something that you can wear um, uh, for your office. Uh, semi-formal is basically the party wear um, that is, again, for the, uh, for the events, uh, occasionally you can wear that occasionally either to a lunch or maybe a dinner. Uh, with a simple cut or maybe some kind of embellishment, maybe a, a small embellishment somewhere on the garment. And uh, bridal wear is for that one big day. Um, uh, there was a time when uh, fashion designers were limited to a particular uh, line, like a designer who, were, who was d doing initially bridal. Uh, they were only doing bridals and they were not. They were sticking to bridals only. But as the uh, fashion market is um, very uh, competitive and it's growing rapidly, so they have ex they they have started experimenting with different lines like casual, semi formal, and um, accessories and whatever field they think that they can prosper in. And where is the career growth the most? As I said uh, earlier, that this field is very creative, and you can actually uh, a designer's job is to uh, uh, to create new ideas and uh, create new things for uh, the new labels, and they can uh, work in any field if you choose because basically it's uh, about the odd kit you're ready to wear and um, the uh, casual wear or the street wear so you can if uh, you if a designer if an upcoming designer chooses any aspect from the from from these um, he or she can uh, create wonders uh, they can they have a lot of thing they have a lot a lot of things to do they have um, the whole um, fashion scene they they can they, because uh, the market is growing very fastly and the fashion industry is very competitive. So basically uh, success and basically the growth depends upon each individual's uh, skill and determination. 
Which designer in Pakistan has seen the biggest growth and why? Well, there are a lot of designers in Pakistan who are um, very uh, promising and who have proved themselves as, as uh, the, big, the biggest names of, uh, in the industry. But uh, in my opinion, uh, HSY Hassan Shahriyar has seen is, I think, the most promising designer. Um, as a very famous uh, magazine uh, referred him as a new king of couture. Uh, I think uh, he is one of the designers who uh, ha who has actively been in involved uh, in the fashion scene from the past 15 years and he has taken Pakistan to a very different level um, locally and internationally too and uh, he uh, knows how to sell his product. He not only designs uh, collections but he uh, has um, um, created lifestyles and um, uh, I think he's one of the best designers for Pakistan. How does HU School of Fashion and uh, textile design prepares its students to be better fashion and textile designers than the other universities. Ajmer University is um, uh, successfully running its uh, fashion and textile uh, school. Uh, we have uh, many uh, qualified um, um, and skilled teachers from um, uh, renowned universities who have been uh, working hard with the students to uh, promote their work and uh, create better collections. Uh, we do uh, weekly basis fashion uh, displays and exhibitions uh, within the universities and a fashion show by the end of uh, their final year to promote their work and their skill uh, so that uh, their works get promoted and then, uh, they get appreciation and uh, applause from the audience locally and internationally. Thank you so much ma'am Saira. That is always today's hot seat. I'll see you next time. Allah.